Hello everyone, this is Sean with the goodstuffblog.com and today what I want to do is some more TrueCrypt stuff and uh, what I want to do is show you how to make TrueCrypt a little bit more user friendly so that when you go and plug in say a flash drive or your hard drive that's encrypted with TrueCrypt that it automatically asks you for the password and, and again if you don't have it set up this way it's a little bit cumbersome you have to actually open up TrueCrypt you have to go and mount it and, and it's kind of a, a pain in the butt so this is just a, a way to, to make it a little bit more user friendly so that when you plug in your flash drive or you plug in your portable hard drive it immediately asks you for your password so you can just get up and going uh, and get going okay so first of all we're going to do this the manually way because you have to do it the manually anyway, manual way anyway to get going. And this is how you would normally do it without having uh, it set up to ask for your password automatically. And I actually have my hard drive, my encrypted hard drive, plugged in already. It's this one right here. And I'm going to go and I'm going to mount it. I'm just going to pick a drive letter. I'm going to pick T. And I'm going to mount. Oh, I've got a selected device and I'm gonna mount the device and there's mount okay and now I'm gonna type in my password and it's thinking hopefully I typed in the right uh, the correct password it looks like it's taken a while here to figure it all out Okay, it, it mounted. There it is. There's my my pass. My my uh, device has been mounted. You'll notice now. Here's my E drive, which is the actual hard drive, and then here is the drive letter that's been mounted. That's the encrypted volume. It's showing 300 gigs and uh, 298 gigs, and I do have a 300 gig uh, portable hard drive plugged in right now. Okay, so that's the process that you would normally use to mount your hard drive if you don't do what I'm going to do now to have it automatically ask for it. For it. First thing that you'll need to, to do uh, in this whole kind of process is you want TrueCrypt to start automatically when you boot your machine. That way uh, it's running in the background and when you plug in your hard drive you don't have to. It won't automatically ask you for the hard drive if TrueCrypt's not running in the background. Now I'm not really a fan of programs running automatically in the background when you boot your computer. I keep most of my background processes turned off, uh, but in this case uh, it does make this whole process of using an encrypted volume or an encrypted flash drive much easier and, and again if it's going to make my life easier I'm for it. If it's going to complicate things then I'll turn the background process off. So first thing you need to do is make sure the TrueCrypt is set up to run in the background when you boot up your machine. You go to settings, preferences, and TrueCrypt background task enabled. And down in here in the Windows section, um, no, I'm sorry, you want to, ah, there it goes. Actions to perform upon log on to Windows. So they're, they're one above the other. You have the TrueCrypt background task, make sure enabled is checked it's not checked by default actions uh, to perform upon log on to Windows make sure start TrueCrypt background task is checked and, and I know for a fact that is not uh, checked uh, by default this one uh, actually I think might be this one is unchecked by default so you need to check that so doing okay so basically what that is when you boot up your computer TrueCrypt's going to start and it's going to be on the background whether you're going to use TrueCrypt or not it's there um, and that's going to be an important thing to do. Now, next thing you want to do, now that you actually have your hard drive mounted, you have to have it mounted to a drive letter and have to be seeing it here in the TrueCrypt window to set it up for your automatic uh, password. Okay. Now what you do is you go and right click on it and do add to favorites. Okay. Right now um, it's it's there it is it's I just added it to my favorites and you've got a number of options down here that you can use now that you have it added to the favorite one of these is mount selected volume when its host device gets connected and I want to check that and basically what that's saying is that when you plug in your flash drive 
or your portable hard drive or whatever you have set up here, it's going to automatically ask you for your password. Okay, and you have another number of other options here uh, that you can do as well, depending on what you want to do. If you always have your portable hard drive mounted or, or plugged in, it's always there. It's always plugged in, or or maybe it's not a portable hard drive. Maybe it's a hard drive on your computer. Uh, an internal hard drive and you want it mounted when you boot up your computer and um, you can do mount selected volume upon logon which when you log on your computer that would mount it if it's plugged in um, and then you have another number of other options but the main one that I want here is mount selected volume when its host device gets connected okay check that doing okay alright beauty of this is now if I dismount this and and unplug it when I plug it back in it's going to automatically ask for my password so I'm going to dismount it and bear with me here as it goes through it's now dismounted it's gone now what you're going to I'm going to pop over to my computer here and you'll notice the T is gone and this E again is the actual portable hard drive that's plugged in I'm going to unplug it you're going to see that E go away E has now gone away okay now I want you to watch my computer. I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, it's plugged back in. And look at that. It's now, I didn't do a thing. All that I did was plug my, my jump drive in. And it's now asking me for the actual password. Oh, I typed in the wrong one. Helps to type the right one. Okay, taking a little while to, to process here uh, the password, and, and that's fine. I'm going to pop over here while it's doing that to my computer. There's the hard drive again. It's plugged into E. Up, oh, see that? There we go. T's in. Okay, so it's all set up now for me to uh, automatically have the password prompt come up when I plug in my portable hard drive. Again, a lot more user friendly. Um, a lot less steps that you have to take when you're using your hard drive and, and uh, just something to make TrueCrypt uh, work for you. Uh, it's an awesome little program. I highly recommend it. been using it for years. There's just some little things about it that you have to learn and that's why I do these videos. And uh, so there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and also check out all my other videos and tutorials and, and posts on thegoodstuffblog.com uh, there's all kinds of good things there uh, again there's reviews on books there's these tutorials on software um, there's just anything that I find is something that I I think is good is gonna be on there so check it all out thanks for watching and we'll talk to y'all later